Hi guys! For this video, I'll just be showing you some of the supplies that I recently bought, some of the paintings that I'm also working on at this moment, and I'll also show you how I clean up my studio because for some reason, it's always messy. <laughs> who we're painting today. EXO is lit! Let me just show you guys what I just bought from Michael. These are like Bristol board paper thingies. Um, it's for a drawing project that I'm currently doing. I also bought a 22 by 28 canvas for another commission order that I'm doing as well. We have another gigantic canvas 36 by 48 inch this is for another commission order and lastly i haven't opened this yet but i bought this palette thing it's a palette but it also has containers next to it like attached to it so i'm kind of excited i bought it just it's like three dollars so it was on sale okay it's cute let me know what you guys use for your palettes. Do you use um, just like paper, plastic plates, disposable plates, or real like real plates, um, glass palettes, plastic palettes, wooden palettes? What do you guys use? Currently, I use like those paper plates, but I've also started using a regular plate that I got from the kitchen, which obviously we're not going to eat from anymore. But anyways, this is how it looks like. As you can see, is this is like slightly angled. This one as well, but it's also nice. I kind of, I thought about getting it because it's nice that there are these containers so you could save some of the paint that you haven't used. And if you're doing a specific painting and then you have to like stop for a bit and then come back to it later, then you could use this because then all your paints are gonna stay wet. They're not gonna dry up and you're not gonna waste any paint, which is something I'm working on because. Um, oftentimes, I forget that I have paint out and then I, it gets wasted because it dries up. So yeah, I'm excited to use it. Anyway, so this is the current mess <laughs> in this studio. I haven't- and this weekend, I did a lot of um, painting. I haven't been able to clean. So I'm going to use this time to clean up um, this space. Okay? <laughs> Okay, so it's definitely much better now. Now we can start painting. Also, if you guys are interested in getting any of these paintings, all of these originals, they will be up on my website right here and you can check it out. By the way, I just had this really, really genius idea. Just kidding, it's not my idea. I just saw some other people do it, but um, if you don't want to have to keep going back to the sink, if you're, especially if it's like far away or you're afraid of clogging your sink because of the paint water, this is what you should do. Basically, instead of having to run to the sink all the time, all you have to do is take your dirty water. Look how gross that looks. Put it in one bucket. I just found these buckets in their storage. I think they were like from the toys. Then you take some clean water. You can like clean it out a little bit. And take some clean water and that's it and then when this gets full or this gets empty then all you have to do is dump this in a place that won't clog up or anything and then you can just refill this Wow now that we've cleaned everything up it's time for me to set up the studio for my next painting sessions the first painting I'm setting up for is Exo's Lay I'll be painting him on a 16 by 20 inch canvas and these are the materials that I will be using. So we're going to fill up this new palette that I got. We're gonna fill it up with basically just the essential paints, not every color, just the paints that I would usually use when I'm painting a person. Um, so we would have black, white, some beige for the skin tone, the red oxide, and some red for the lips. 
Okay, so I won't show too much of Lay just because I will also be posting a separate video for this entire process. But I will show you guys just a teaser of how I start off with any of my wall collection paintings. This is actually my biggest wall collection painting yet. It's 16 by 20 inches in size. And if you guys want to see the entire process of this painting, then please subscribe and turn on our notification bell so you won't miss it once I post the actual video. If you guys have watched my previous Paint With Me sessions, you probably would have seen this painting already. This is a family of four on a 30 by 40 inch canvas. I'm just continuing with the underpainting because my sister was actually the one who did this first part. Now I'm just going through the outlines or uh, the details of the face with a paint pen just so that I could see it more clearly. Oh, by the way, if there's anybody interested in getting some commission orders done from me or by me, then you could just message me in any of the social media accounts below and I will get to you as soon as I can. So we're outside, decided to take a break from painting because my sister wanted to go for a walk. We're just um, around the neighborhood. Okay, cross. I'll show you guys how it looks. We are now coming to the last painting of this video. As you can see, we will be painting four different types of flowers on four different canvases. They're all 12 by 12 inches. And there are four different flowers, but we're going to make it look like one flower. This was actually the customer's idea and I thought it was pretty cool. I'm not done the painting yet, but so far I had a lot of fun with making it. Anyway, that is it for today's video. Thank you so much for painting here with me and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!